Number four, you're given this vector and you've defined its magnitude. Well, what's the length of that vector? What's its magnitude? Well, the magnitude of that will be, well, it's just Pythagoras in three dimensions. So square the components, add them and take the square root. So it'll be 6 squared, negative 13 squared, and 18 squared. Now I suppose you could just press the buttons and just put that all in, square root of, and so on. I don't know. I think I'll just put in the different bits because I know some of them. 6 squared is 36, and 13 squared is 169. 18 squared is 324. So that's the square root of 529. I'm not too sure what that is. The square root of 529, well, that's a very nice 23. I think probably you could just have typed that in at that point and got the answer 23. There we go, for a couple of marks. Number five, you've defined the resultant vector of two given vectors, which of course have been drawn away from each other. Express your answer in component form. Well, it just means get the components of them. I'm not going to draw them out because I need a grid. So I'm just going to say, what's this? Vector P from the start, following the direction of the arrow, from the start goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 back. So that's negative 5. And 1, 2, 3 up. So that's 3 up. Q goes from the start, following the direction of the arrow, 1, 2, 3, 4 along. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down which means the resultant of them will just be add the components. P plus Q will be negative 5, 3, and 4, negative 5, which is negative 1, negative 2. don't know if this bit shows up. If you were doing it graphically, you'd have to follow P, and from wherever P led, led you, you would then follow Q. Well, I've got Q here, so from where P ends, you would draw Q, keeping it parallel, keep it, which is one along and two down. So that's right. So what's this? Six part A. The Earth is approximately spherical and gives you the radius. What's its volume? So it's the volume of a sphere. So you look it up. 4.3 pi r cubed. It says, give your answer in scientific notation to two significant figures. Well, it's 4.3 pi times, and the radius is 64 cubed. But give your answer in scientific notation. It's a calculator paper. You're just going to type that in. And it automatically gives you in scientific notation. 1.098, etc times 10 to the power 12, and that's cubic kilometres. Two significant figures just means keep the first two. So that's a nine after it, so that's 1.1 times 10 to the power 12 cubic kilometres. The part B. The approximate volume of the moon is 2.2 times 10 to the 10. How many times is the Earth's volume greater than the moon's? Well, the Earth is some number times the moon. So you'll find that number by dividing them. So that'll be 1.1 times 10 to the 12 divided by 2.2 times 10 to the 10. Of course, I didn't write that. First of all, I just didn't say how many times does the moon go into the Earth? You don't even need a calculator for that, because that's quite clearly a half. And subtracting the powers is times 10 to the 2. 10 to the 2, move the point forward two places, it's 50 times it. The Earth is 50 times the volume of the Moon. I don't even know if you need to write this bit out. But equally well, you could just have used your calculator and put in one because you've got a times 10 button on it and 2.2 because you've got a times 10 button on it and then get the answer 50. <laughs>